Shalom and welcome to a new edition here on the Genesis 49ers page where we say no to vague interpretations and we give thorough breakdowns. Today's topic is going to be the Yoruba, Aruba and Yoruba tribes, okay? The West African Yorubas are Yoruba and the Native Indian or Amer Indian Aruba and Yoruba people. And why am I making the comparison? I'm making the comparison showing you that these people are one and the same. They're separated by two geographical lands and boundaries. Different geographical lands and boundaries. And I use Indian and African on my channel because I don't, I don't subscribe to these terms. But in order for the laity to understand who, I'm, who am I re making reference to, then... You know, that's why I would use it. That's why those words are used. I use West African. I don't, if you watch my video on the origin of Africa and uh, the Blumenbach video to understand why I don't subscribe to those terms, because those terms are, have deterred our people from their true nationality. Indian comes from the Latin Indios, which means servant. Uh, African comes from the Afri people. Uh, when we know that according to the Latin council. So it has nothing to do with our true nationality, our true ethnic background okay our true ethnic background goes back to the israelites if you're under the subscription of uh indian negroid or west african you're an israelite according to the bible okay and it goes deeper than that but we're just going to use those three terms to quickly uh give you a, um, a picture if you will of, of what we're dealing with now today's topic is going to be the yoruba yoruba and aruba tribes uh, one being West African, two being the same of the same uh, tribe in um, the Western Hemisphere. Okay, and we're going to deal with philology and metathesis and um, the gr the grammar and what these words mean, what these names imply. And I stumbled across this information going over the twelve tribes chart because we get so much flack about the twelve. Oh, Aria made it up. Blah blah blah. It's so many claims against it that is just fictitious so Genesis 49ers is basically a channel to prove the uh, validity of these claims that we are the Israelites that the Native American Indians and also West African and all Israelites around the earth are Israelites and um, to give more validity to the 12 tribes chart I think it's a, a point that hasn't been expounded upon enough in our community so I'm here to provide that information on Genesis 49ers and many more videos. Uh, I congrats. I appreciate the brothers and sisters that have subscribed. We're up to 202 subscribers. I appreciate the support. Trust me, more and more content will come to this channel. More and more thorough breakdowns will come to this channel. I will give you sources. I'm getting more books. We're, we're digging into these books and we're going to bring the meat to the laity and to the viewer. So with that being stated, Without no more further, no further ado, let's go straight to the presentation. Now, I'll, to open up, I want to deal with Yosef, as you can see on the screen. And we're on Bible Hub, and we're using the Strongs. And I want you to know, the point of interest here is Yosef means he increases. That's what Yosef means, or Joseph, or Yawasab, or Yasab, however you want to pronounce it. It means he increases. Remember that word of origin and Yasap, which means to increase, right? So his his name means he he increases. Um, anytime you see the yod in the beginning of the sentence, it usually indicates he is doing something. He 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 he. So keep that in mind for the information that we're about to uh, re reveal. But let's talk about the Yoruba Aruba uh, Indians, and we have a book here, the North American Exploration on uh, Google Books. It's edited by John Logan Allen. Page 211, it says, With matters stabilized in Jamaica and Puerto Rico, Diego Columbus turned his attention to Cuba. In the interim, since Ocampo's reconnaissance of the island, Spaniards from the Tierra Firme colony had been cast upon its shores to become its unwitting explorers. Among them was Ojeda himself, who was shipwrecked at Cuba's Agua. Agua Bay. He and the pirates with whom he had hitched a ride, as mentioned previously in the account of Ojeda's Yoruba colony. So that's the 
point of interest we wanted to get out of this source. I'm trying to show you that you had a colony called the Yorubas, a native Indian stock called Yoruba, walking the length of the island before obtaining a native canoe to take them to Jamaica. Esquivel provided a rescue ship to transport the castaways to Santo Domingo. Fernandez de, uh, Fernandez, Fernandez de and Enciso, already having sailed for Yoruba had, with provisions, or had remained in Santo Domingo, dying there in 1550 in natural causes. So I just wanted to bring this source out so you can know there was an island called Yoruba, and it was named after the native Indians there, right? I wanted to show you that that exists. And then we have Alonso de Ojeda's wiki right here. It says Alonso de uh, Ojeda, uh, 1468, some sources state 1466 to 1515, was a Spanish navigator, governor, and conquistador. He traveled through Guyana, Venezuela, Trinidad, Tobago, Curacao, Aruba, and Colombia. You see, I'm just bringing this out to show you that this is a real place. Aruba or Yoruba is what it was called. And I'm connecting it with the West African people of Yoruba, or Yoruba, right? So, where is this island located? Let's get it, Aruba. Here it is. You see, it's an island that's in the Caribbean Sea, right above South America. This is Aruba, or Yoruba. Yoruba, or Yoruba, right? Now, we know these native Indian people uh, uh, exist. It, it says, Aruba's first inhabitants are thought to have been Kaikitos and Mary Indians from Ar the Arawak tribe. And the Arawak tribe is, is very peculiar because the word Ara means tree and Wak means people of, so the tree people. And we know that in Genesis 49, it talks about uh, that Joseph is a fruitful bow, meaning a branch or, or going back to a tree. Right, and that's what the tribe was called. And remember, we brought out the word Joseph, a Yasup, means he increases. Now, you had these people, they named the island Aruba, the Yoruba, the Yoruba Indians, right? They have that name. So let's deal with what this name means. Let's deal with what this name means. I have Rabab, which means many, and I have Rabah which means to multiply. Uh, late Hebrew, Assyrian, Rabu, be great, grow, Arabic, Aramaic, all grow, increase. Increase. Now, pay attention to that. These name, names mean many and multiply, or i.e. increase. So, we have the Aruba, or Yoruba people. I'm going to show you the how uh, the derivation of this name correlates with Joseph and also Ephraim. So let's read what uh, Ephraim means, or Apario means. It says, uh, Afer being the, the the word origin, but we want the meaning. So when you go into the meaning, it's basically the same thing. Here it is. Strong's Exhaustion's con Concordance, Ephraim, Ephraimites, dual of masculine form of Ephrat, double fruit. Meaning, Ephraim just means double fruit. It means be fruitful. Same thing. What, is it, what does it mean to be fruitful? To multiply. The same exact thing. So, Ephraim means to be fruitful. Joseph means he increases. Now, for the next segment, we're going to deal with philology, right? And as you can see on your stream, we have Yah equals He. Because anytime you see the Yod in the beginning, as a prefix, it denotes he is doing something, right? Strong's 87235, what we mentioned earlier, Rabbah, means to increase. It equals increase. So we add Yah, which means he, and Rabbah together. You get Yadarabah or Yoruba, a Yoruba, or the Yadarabah tribe, right? Just like the West African and the, and the Indian tribes here in America. Yadaraba or Yoruba means he increases, which is a exact equivalent to the meaning of Yasup or Yosef, right? A Strong's age thirty one thirty, he increases. We have found the name of Joseph or Aruba or Yaraba or Ephraim or Pariam in the Americas and also in West Africa. Conclusion Yaraba or Yoruba or Yoruba are all metathesis of Yasup 
a Yosef or Joseph. Hashtag 12 tribes chart. And that's what we're here to do. Give that proof and that validity. Okay? And for you brothers that's watching and don't know how the Hebrew language works, the rules of it, let's deal with... Let's deal with... Um, the the grammatics of it so i got this website here the joyceworld.com and it tells you exactly how the yod works it says thus yod as a prefix prefix means it goes before the word suffix is after the yod is a prefix mean the yod as a prefix mean he was is and will be doing something it implies action so when you have the yod before it like you have with joseph yasa it means he increases with aruba when you have the yod you have the ya uh, Yaraba, which means he increases. A Yoruba, a Yoruba tribe, right? This is the same word. So we have found Joseph, and and I did a video about this Hebrew lands on Hebrew lands and was it Indians and Hebrew names, Indian lands and Indian Hebrew names. I think it is on Genesis forty nine. Check it out if you haven't. And we brought all the information about these different lands and how they tie to different tribe members. Like Shemaica is the land of Shemai, which is Simeon. That's what the original name of Jamaica was. It's named after Simeon. And today we're, we're focusing on the Aruba, which is Yaruba. Or Yaruba is a metathesis of Joseph, or just another derivation of Joseph. And we see it here in the Americas. And that's what Genesis 49 is about. We're here to bring the scholarship to another level, to bring the knowledge of our people and who we are, and to the, especially the Mary Indians, because there's a shadow and a cloud of, of, around our history that anytime you're trying to go into antiquity, it, it, there's always a stopping point. We're here to take those, those roadblocks out of the way and give our people their nationality back. Now, before we close, I want to give another book reference that many Hebrews are familiar with from Babylon to Timbuktu by Rudolf R. Windsor and we're going to go to page 131 I own this book and I, if you're in a community I strongly advise you to purchase this book it says the assertion of these Yoruba Jews is that their ancestors well let's start at the top Yoruba Jews of Nigeria there are Black Jews in southern Nigeria who are called the Emo Yokwaim, or strange people, by the native Africans. But these black Jews call themselves by the Hebrew name Benai Ephraim. Why? Because their name, Yeruba, goes back to what? Joseph. It goes back to meaning he increases. They come from Ephraim. They come from Joseph. Because Aparion just means double fruit, to be fruitful. Now... I'm going to show you the one clue that led me to this conclusion. And that one clue is the first king of the northern kingdom. And we're going to pull up his name. We're going to pull him up. And that's Jeroboam. Right? Jeroboam was the first king of the northern kingdom. And we want the strongs on him. Look at, look at his name. Yaroboam. Yaroboam. Yarobam, right? Which agrees beautifully with the Yaruba people because this word comes from what word? Rabab, or Rabah, which we brought up earlier, which means many, which means multiply. And what does his name mean? The people increase. Yaroba, Yaraba, Yaruba. It's the same thing. And he was a king to the, the Israelites. He was from the tribe of Ephraim. So this name was not unfamiliar amongst the northern kingdom. See? We have we have the uh the uh, proof here. So another name is uh Jerubab a uh, Yerubabal which means to contend, or it can mean to multiply, the multiplying of the Most High. Same thing, same sp sp spelling. Let's get it, uh, is it, let's see if I can spell it correctly. To add to the validity of our claims. Jerubal. Or Yerubal. Let's get it. Yeru. 
about it. So, so you brothers and sisters can see that the uh, the validity behind our claims can be substantiated. And all we've been doing this whole time is just looking at the Strongs, using philology. To, to uh, should look at that. Yeruba. Yeruba al. In the same way you said Yeruba, Yeruba, Yaruba, is the same thing, which means Baalists will contend, but it can also come from the Rabbah, which means to multiply, right? So you can see that name is a, of a Hebrew metathesis and where it derives from in derivation. So let's go back to the source. It says, these Jews claim their ancestors immigrated from Morocco. And Benai Ephraim means sons of Ephraim, by the way. A fact which God says is supported by their language. And we know that the Jews and Israelites went through Morocco because we have brothers like uh, Ishmael Hirdara, which has the documents of his forefathers from the 15, 1400, the Middle Ages, the Middle Age period, being Jewish caravans coming from Spain and Portugal. He has those documents of his pedigree going back to those people. He has the actual physical evidence. Right? So we know this to be true. It says, a fact which God be says is supported by the language, a mixture of Maghrebi, Arabic, and local Negro speech. Thus, Abu, father, has become Yaba, Um, mother, Hebrew, Im, is Ima. Nevertheless, most of their language is sim similar to the black Yorubas around them. The Yorubas have influenced these Jews to a great extent in their external social life. It's said that the crocodile is a sacred animal for all. The customary sacrifices of the Yorubas appear to be the same for the Jews. And what does Yoruba mean? He increases. What does Joseph mean? He increases. It is a equivalent. It's the same thing. Why? Because these are the Benai Ephraim, the sons of Ephraim. The 12 tribes is waking up and we're giving them back their nationality. Okay, I am my brother's keeper. Let's keep going. The assertions of these Yoruba, Yoruba Jews is that their ancestors were driven from locality to locality by Muslim perse persecution. They did not find rest even when they arrived at Timbuktu. Surely the prophecy has been fulfilled. And among these nations shall thou find no ease. Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest but the lord shall give thee there a trembling heart and filling of eyes and sorrow of mind and you can find that verse in deuteronomy 28 these yerba's jew the Arabic jews lived in undo district when god be wrote this okay so that's the source on that and that's pretty much the video um i, I wanted to show you another thing too yes the channel we teach that the uh, native americans the israelites are the native americans they discovered america but that doesn't mean all all of the ten tribes came to America. You had a substantial, a, a great size amount, sizable amount, stay back into the land, stay stay as, and they became the Scythians, became the Yorubas in the West African region, and and many more different peoples of uh, in the known world. Okay, so let that be understood. But with that, I'm going to conclude. Uh, rate, subscribe, and comment. Share this on the, multi, the the social media platforms. Let's get these videos out there. I appreciate the 200 subscribers. I appreciate the love and the feedback you brothers have been putting in the comments. Uh, if you agree, comment below. If you disagree, tell me why you disagree. Let's, let's have a, a dialogue, but an intelligent one. So you can comment down below. Uh, rate the video, like the video, subscribe, uh, share the video on the... the uh, the social media sites such as Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and let's get this knowledge out. Let's get this understanding out. So let's seal that number, Israel. And with that, I say shalom. Genesis 49ers signing off.